Hi friends. So we have reached the end of my first week of ink explorations for February. So I thought I would do a sort of week in review. Um, I did this tracking. Uh, so you can see the various things I wrote, which is like that the F wasn't too different from the EF, that the medium was pretty juicy, and that the broad was looking lighter and that I was almost out of um, ink already. Uh, I didn't, I think the combination of I didn't put as much ink in the broad and of course a broad nib typically takes more ink. Um, I did, in fact, smooth uh, the stub nib. I tried fixing the baby's bottom on the broad nib with some success. It's still not perfect. And <laughs> in doing so, my loop fell apart. And then I had to try and put that back together, which was fun. Fun. Um, and then I smoothed the F and the EF a little. They were they were pretty smooth, but, you know, they were scratchy in one direction. Anyway, uh, so I, you'll note that I started early because it was just easiest for me to start on a Monday. And that I didn't, it's Monday again, so this week I have to ink things up. Um, I wrote, this is my setup here, it was very pleasing to me, and I wrote this, I'm not sharing, this is my journal that I put my thoughts in, I wrote things in here uh, every day to use the inks to, to do longer form writing, and then I also um, copied out some poems, so this was the EF the F, the medium, the broad, and the 1.1 stub. So I think, and this is a Midori cotton paper. So things I found interesting is how different the, so first off, this paper being a really warm cream definitely makes this ink look w yellower to me. I want to say warmer, but I mean yellower. And then looking at the color, to me, the, the stub and the broad very much feel lighter, which also makes sense because if it's the same amount of ink coming out, but it has to cover more ground because the ink tip, the nib is wider. The same amount of ink over a bigger area is going to look lighter. But it's logical once I think of it as a cause. But I think if I had thought of it in advance, I'd have assumed that the broad would look darker. <clears throat> I might, I'm, I'm considering doing a writer's blood is one of the things because I'm curious wh what that looks like. I've used that one mostly in very fine nibs because it's such a lubricated ink that I'm kind of worried that it's just going to be a fire hose. So anyway, giving you a little bit of a look at the poems just so you can get a picture of the ink. I had been hoping to find a bunch of um, uh, black poets since it's Black History Month here in the U.S., but I don't know very many poets at all, let alone black poets, because most of the poets I know are, you know, old white men. Old white men plus Dorothy Parker and Edna St. Vincent Millay. Um, 
So I'm curious if you think, if you like any of these better. Um, that's kind of all I have to show. If I would love to know, is there more in, because we'll have at least three more wrap-ups. Is there more that you would like to see in them? Um, let me know in the comments. My next ink is going to be the Purple Jade Rabbit, La Pince sur la Lune, my Ferris wheel press, uh, because it's brand new. So I definitely know nothing about this ink. I do fear slash suspect that I am not going to have a great time at the start of this. <laughs> I think I'm probably not going to love this in the EF and the F. And maybe the medium, but we'll see. So those are my those are my predictions headed into this week. Um, if you leave comments that you want to see more writing uh, during the week, I can hopefully I have time to action on that, or at the very least at the end of the week. Unless I've written the pin dry, I should be able to do those. So really, please do let me know. But yeah, and if you have any poets to recommend me that you think I might like, I'm interested. I, I'm always trying to expand my literary horizons because I've the genres that I read um, tend to not have the most diverse authors, and I, you know, I, I I feel like I would like to change that. So, at any rate. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope whenever you're watching this, you have a wonderful day. Um, but look at, I guess the last thing we'll do is look at how much ink is left in these pens. How well did I do at not overfilling them? Really poorly. They all have, well, no, the broad is almost empty. But... But for sure, the extra fine fine and 1.1 stub definitely have a ton of ink in them. So I'll probably, like, smoosh that all into a sample vial for later and try to do better with this one. Uh, but I'm, I have to go rinse these and clean them pretty well, so you're not going to see me inking them up. But who cares about that? It's just going to be a mess anyway. But again, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.